All right, we're at a fourth of a second. Let's test it out. Good evening, everyone. Justin here from The Camera Life. I'm here with Yelena. We're in Bright, strolling along the river. It's pretty overcast and miserable kind of lighting conditions, but I've got the Q3 and we're gonna go for a walk along the river and see if we can make a photo or two before we go for dinner. Look, Kookaburra. Oh, right there. Just there. The uh, Q3 is not really the ideal camera for capturing a Kookaburra, but maybe we'll hear it. You might have a little house up there. Man, if only I had a longer lens. Yep, just not quite right, is it? Anyway, I'll know he's there. Go out on the bridge and see if we can get something out there before we head down there. Waddle's nice. Shall we stroll? Yeah. You can keep on going if you want. You might even end up in my photo. Nope, nothing I can do there. Yeah. What are those flowers called? Daffodils. Daffodils. Yeah, I don't know if they're all called daffodils though. Get our macro happening. Mm -mm. I guess these are the Farrington poplars. What about this stuff taking over this tree stump? Is that something? 
Nope. <laughs> Are they really, you just don't like them or they're not photos? They're not photos. They're nothings. But they're still photos. I'm pressing the button and it's saving the picture, but <laughs> you don't like them. I don't like them. But they're still photos. How can somewhere so nice be so ugly on camera? You know? Can only come down to my lack of skill. Try one more before I give up. Nothing looks good. I have one last attempt at a photo before I give up for the night. Hoping I can get some textures or something here. So let's say we're going to go really, really slow shutter speed. I don't know what the like is like hand holding. Hopefully you guys can see that. All right, we're at a fourth of a second. Let's test it out. Okay, it's definitely the best thing I've got so far. All right, half a second ISO 100 F11. Let's have a look. Now we can see we're getting definitely getting motion blur now. So let's go back to a quarter of a second. F8. I think that was our safe zone. All right. Whoop. Rock's a bit wobbly. And then maybe we can get something. Hmm. This is risky, but there's a stick in the shot that I don't want. <laughs> Go away. Okay. I really want to just get the water coming off this rock. Actually, I'm going to focus right here. That's all for me. I'm standing on a rock in the water and uh, I don't think I got anything great today, but I took a couple of photos and we did it. So I'll catch you guys. So we just got back to the caravan park where we're staying, where the van's parked. And there's these giant power lines above us, these big towers. And I grabbed my R3 and the 7200 out, set it to black and white and took these two photos. I'm gonna put them in here. I'm actually fairly happy with them. They're something different, not something I would normally take and not the sort of photos I was thinking I would find at Bright along the beautiful river. But I guess that's what happens when you struggle to take photos. You start looking in different weird places. And now Yelena's getting hungry, so we're going to go to dinner. Goodbye. <laughs>